lot of people saying in the chat i'm still saying yeah Bappa will never be a comeback story and um, he's got cte who's gonna get his jokes <laughs> now i think maybe again maybe it's my maybe it's my um maybe it's my laden christianity freaking beliefs kicking in here but i don't know i feel like there could be a possible redemption arc there it's probably very very far down in the future but i think if he kind of hits enough roadblocks i reckon he could maybe turn it around maybe maybe it's very unlikely that it would happen but i'm here for it if it did happen i'm not gonna lie i'm here for it i would like to see it it'd be somewhat interesting to see introspective um self-aware a version of brendan where he kind of acknowledges some of his mistakes i don't i wouldn't mind that to be fair i think that'd be pretty cool uh talking about acknowledging mistakes this is courtesy of the final kids subreddit big up the user that made this or uploaded this called television strong 4388 it's called brendan shaw resurrection and it's uh it's basically somebody created this stand-up material of brendan um, I guess using open AI or some sort of system like that, I chat GBT sort of shit and obviously in his type of voice type of thing, but it doesn't really sound too much like him. And it's pretty interesting. This is kind of, you know, his stand ups, uh, what his stand up special would sound like if he would take on some of the criticism that people have been le leveled at him. Maybe some of the stuff I've spoken about on this live stream or people have spoken about on the flipping to find a kid subreddit and whether or not that would contribute to actually making for a better special and i feel like some of the material definitely or some of the bits in here or premises or topics would definitely would work if he decided to do so but you know i know i'm fighting against it but what i'm sitting saying is true it's very unlikely we will ever see this version of brendan on the stage but i thought this was pretty funny to kind of listen to anyway regardless so big up on the final kids subreddit guys for putting this together this is pretty cool this is brendan shaw resurrection allegedly Welcome to my first comedy special after Gringo Poppy. <laughs> I know Gringo Poppy is kind of a mouthful. You might know it by its more common name, which is unfunny. <laughs> so this comedy special is called Resurrection. I'll tell you why I called it that towards the end, after I've hopefully earned back some of your trust and respect. So That's pretty good, isn't it? That is, it kind of sounds like him, but it doesn't. I guess the only thing that's missing is that he doesn't have the you know the 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 incorrect pronunciation and shit in his voice it just sounds a little bit too um you know he, he just sounds too well spoken basically this sounds like brendan shaw early in the ufc when he's doing press conferences and interviews and shit and it just sounds way more eloquent than he does nowadays he's he's when he talks now he's he's you know what i'm saying saying is true he legitimately sounds like he's got cte when he's speaking now like his brain is legitimately broken it's deteriorated so much over time and most of it has kind of been self-inflicted with like you know the booze and shit so for those of you who follow me so so around 14 people at this point <laughs> you'll know all about the drama that's been happening in my life for everyone else uh this special is to decompress from what i would describe as a living freaking hell and what theo von would describe as a totally normal upbringing <laughs> So like, okay, before we begin, there's just like two things I want to say so that this whole special makes sense. So I started off as an MMA fighter, right? And Joe I like the can laughter. That's pretty good. Rogan is one of my closest friends. I've been on his podcast more than any other guest, right? So one day Joe Rogan brings me on his show and then tells me to like stop being a pro fighter and just be a freaking stand up comedian, bro. So like I was like, seriously, dude. So like I said, OK, fine, fuck it. I'll follow your advice and see where it takes me. So basically where it took me was to become named the worst comedian since freaking ever. Right. <laughs> but that's not the worst part. The worst part is that Joe Rogan ended up opening the biggest comedy club on earth in Austin. And then he never freaking invited me. Can you imagine how much that would kill if he actually did material like this on stage? That would kill so much. So there's that, right? That freaking bothered me. And the second thing is that I talk a lot about my previous special, which was called Gringo Poppy, voted one of the worst stand-up specials of all time, right? 
So that is, this special is really for the fans, right? And that's because I've treated my fans like crap. I gave you guys a crappy special, and you guys deserve better. So this special is meant to be like the cure to the disease, which is gringo poppy. So you'll hear me talk about my friends a lot, like my famous comedian friends, but like... Hmm. Yeah, so who's that? Well, I'm just saying, yeah, it's not the... I am seeing in the chat saying, it's not the material is Bapa. He doesn't have comedic timing or a flow to him. Has just not, it's not just, he's just not funny. And you have to get the joke. CTE won't allow him to truly comprehend much. Yeah, that's true. I think that goes back to what... Um, that goes back to what... Um, what's his name? Ari Shafir said once. I think kind of referencing Brendan. It's just impossible. Or it's really difficult to try and make it in stand-up comedy without being a funny person before you started, suddenly in your mid-30s. So Brendan was never the funny guy. I know he lies and tries to say, oh, I always wanted to be the class clown. I never wanted to be an athlete. It's a lie. He wanted to be an NFL football player. It didn't work out for him. So he pivoted like anybody else does. But he has this inability to admit his mistakes and just own up to stuff. So he kind of always creates these different narratives, as he would say. But he never wanted to be a, a stand-up comedian. He just wanted to be an athlete. It didn't work out. Cool. So I think Irish Shafir said, if you're that guy and you're just an athlete, and he never he was the funny person before in school. It's just difficult to go from, you know, not being funny at all and suddenly trying to be funny and be the funny guy on stage and on pod all the time in your mid-30s. It just doesn't work like that, which is why maybe Brendan's at where he's at. Plus, you know, his inability to maybe be introspective, you know, hot, work on his craft, all that sort of stuff, I'm sure. It doesn't help you, but I'd imagine. If you don't know who they are or don't follow me, then you may not get this special, which is cool. I just want to say that from the beginning. Anyway, I don't want to go trying too hard in the one profession. Otherwise, Joe Rogan might bring me onto his podcast where millions of people are watching and tell me publicly that I suck and I should now take up carpentry. <laughs> this is actually good and you know what? If Joe Rogan actually did that and recommended I become a carpenter and that I suck at comedy... He would wait till I got into carpentry. Then he'd move to New York, <laughs> open the world's biggest carpentry club, and not invite me. <laughs> so that's actually pretty decent. And as someone said in the chat here, was this? Um, this is not your friend. This is not your friend. Says the picture of Shaw is ten times better than he's ever looked. Of course it is. Of course, but that could legitimately be a different lane and a good lane for him to kind of jump on. But I don't think he's ever gonna do that. It's not going to happen. Never, ever, 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 ever happening because, you know, he's decided that he is the way he is. He's not going to change anytime soon. So what can you do? What can you do?